can hurt a little bit. So I'm not pressing really hard into the structure, and when I hit the nerve, it might feel like going through a finger. And that side moved easy without even a... So this patient has a complex history. He is a longtime patient of ours. He's been in combat sports for a long time. He's a trainer in combat sports. Because of that, the joints have suffered in different ways. There have been different traumas. So what you're seeing right now is one of two things. It's an ulnar nerve entrapment, but we're not sure where. We don't have an MRI. We're not sure what the imaging is going to look like. So we're treating both locations that we typically see impingements. Uh, number one is going to be the spine. As a chiropractor, I'm always looking at the spine. I'm always trying to see how the spine is involved. I'm always trying to see how the body as a whole is involved. What we're looking to do is mobilize the joint space to decrease his pain and improve his function and make sure that he can do his rehab exercises that he's been given previously. So like if you had a really bad rotator cuff or a really deep hamstring issue or like a, a glute, like a really bad piriformis entrapment or something that's not getting, getting better with traditional care, you break this bad boy out. It doesn't necessarily change our overall approach in that we're looking to treat each area individually along that path. And in this case, it would be along the elbow, along the forearm. We can get it in the tricep, we can get it in the forearm, we can get it in the cubital tunnel. All of these different places can cause an issue in an instance like this. Uh, so we wanna be thorough and address all of them. So it's a little gristly right there. Yeah. Feel that, adhesions? Yeah, right from boxing. Oh yeah. This may be a more complex case for a long time patient of ours, but you don't have to be in combat sports to get this sort of treatment. Yeah. So that will floss the nerve through the tissue. So if it's a peripheral entrapment, yeah. like cubital tunnel syndrome, that'll help. Shockwave is going to help in the long run, but don't be surprised if you're slightly irritated from it actually breaking the tissue up. Okay. okay? So we're gonna adjust you, see how you do. Uh, if it irritates you, just let me know. Yeah. We'll change our approach. But if it, if it aids you, you can just pop up. Okay. So. Here at NoHo Chiropractic, we're not just fans of passive therapies. We do like to send our patients home with homework, and you'll probably see me going over some of the exercises that are going to be beneficial for him at home. So if you have anything like ulnar nerve entrapment or anything else, you can come in, we can give you a consultation, we'll give you a diagnosis, and we can give you the same treatment, but I'll probably just tailor it to what you need.